Hi, folks. I'm here with Daniel Dower, head age group coach for Lifetime Metro. Uh, I, I, this is so exciting for me. Daniel, thank you so much for being with us um, and, and as our special guest on FM Influencers. And we're going to get started right away. You've got a great story. Your team is doing fantastic. It's building like crazy from everything we hear. What are you doing and how are you doing it? <laughs> uh, and first off, thanks, John, for having me on. Um, you know, I, I, I think what we're ultimately doing is is we're focusing on on having fun. And, you know, the, our entire philosophy is about having fun and fast swimming. And that's that plus the concept of team. And when you get those things together, it seems like it's pretty it's work, it's been working pretty well for us. So so I know um, that the team that you swam for Berkeley was known for high yardage and really intense workouts. And you were a distance swimmer at Berkeley, which I, I think everybody respects that position for sure, uh, <laughs> especially me being a sprint breaststroker. Right. But wow. that And so you've gone like a different way of really kind of making it fun and enjoyable for the kids. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I I grew up swimming in uh, you know in in the in the eighties and nineties um, where yardage was king, um, and when we got on the block at Berkeley, we knew that we had done more yardage and worked harder than anybody else, and therefore it gave you kind of a boost of confidence. Um, but the problem that comes along with that is is burnout. You have a, you have a lot of kids that that don't necessarily finish the sport all the way through. And the truth is, is that, you know, the 1980s, as much as I don't want to admit it, that was, that was 35, 40 years ago. So, you know, it's changed a little bit in the course of time. So uh, we, we really try to focus on shorter sets, um, you know, building strokes and, and trying to alter and hit as many, many different muscle groups as we can throughout the course of one set. Got it. Got it. So when you look at it and and because you've got a a, a, a very in-depth background, um, having trained with Jim Wood, he was, you know, an amazing coach and, and having gone through that program and then kind of morphing and going on to college and swimming uh, as well. Right. And, and so you've got all these different aspects that, that you faced. Um, how did you how did you come up with this idea of going to this and, and, and making it exciting for the kids? Because I'd like to see a lot more teams make make their, their get their kids more excited about what they're doing in that way. But I think everybody would love to do that. Everybody, when they're motivated, does so much better. Yeah, I mean, so so my my how I got to where I am um, is a meandering path. Uh, I, you know, I started swimming at, at Berkeley Aquatic Club, as you mentioned, underneath the gym. And then I had gone on to, I went to TCNJ, where, you know, I was a conference champion and all American and, and, and everything for TCNJ. Um, but in the meantime, when I was 15, 16 years old, I started working at the Summit YWCA. Um, and I did learn to swim stuff with special needs, uh, kids. Um, and then I started working summers with Jim over at the swim school with Tony Brewster. Tony Brewster was the swim school director at the time. Um, and then Jim kind of said, Hey, do you want to, you want to coach for me? And I was 23 years old, really didn't know what I was doing and said, sure. Um, and from that point, I coached for him for about two years. And then I moved down to, to Baltimore and Jim helped me get a job at North Baltimore Aquatic Club. So <clears throat> I coached alongside of, oh, I mean, the, the, the names just keep on going when it comes to that club. I mean, you had, you know, Murray Stevens was, was the head coach at the time. And then you had Bob, who was obviously the senior coach. Um, at, and then you had... Michael Brooks was one of the site coaches up in York, Pennsylvania. Um, and then you had uh, uh, both Tom and Paul Yetter that were coaching there. And then you had, I coached alongside Scott Armstrong, who coached at Stanford. And, and now he's the uh, the head coach at Hopkins. Um, so I, I really kind of just started picking up stuff along the way. But I think one of the things that's important to mention is that I also coached summer league 
which is where all of us started swimming. You know, I, I would say if you ask any swimmer, what was your first swimming experience? 95% of them are going to say it's summer league. And right. you ask them like, well, what'd you like about summer league? And they all say it was fun. Every single one of them. Um, and then for a period of time, I also coached over at, uh, at Hopkins with, with George Kennedy. So, you know, it's amazing coaching tree that, that I've, that I've just a small branch on, um, of all of these brilliant minds. And I started just picking apart different little things and tried to really bring in the summer league experience, the college experience, the lessons experience, plus all the technical experience that I'd learned. Um, and that's kind of, kind of where we came up with what we do nowadays. Wow. That's fantastic. I remember, uh, when I, when I graduated uh, college and I, I went out and I, I was working in Akron, Ohio, and I, I flew down to swim um, with, uh, with Texas um, in, in, in master swimming. And I got a chance to just to talk a little bit with, with Eddie Reese, cause he was on the team as well. And the program they run there, I, I also knew some swimmers that swam for him pretty well. And uh, the program they ran there was so healthy. You know, it was they they play four square. They do all kinds of fun things. This is a phenomenal program, but they also made it so that it was enjoyable. And I think, and and I've heard the same type of thing about Skip Kenny um, that was out in, in Stanford. I know Doc Councilman was that way, and where I went to in Indiana. Um, and I think there's a lot of of respect that goes on for someone that can get the job done, but have fun while you're doing it. And it sounds like that's such a successful recipe, you know, and, and, and I think you're, you're right in there doing that with, with all the great coaches. That's fantastic. Th thanks for bringing that to, to, to your team and the kids. And cause it makes a difference. Um, they spend their lives like we are in some ways, you know, later appreciating the experience that they got. And, yeah, I and mean, that's really a task. I mean, I, I thank you so much. I mean, swimming, I mean, let's face it, John, swimming is not an easy sport. There, there's, there, there's, there's nothing about it. You know, I, um, you know, Eddie Reese has this great, this great quote, um, and I'm going to butcher it, but it, you know, he says along the lines of the fact that, um, you know, people don't choose swimming, swimming chooses them. And, you know, that's something that's always rung true to me. Um, so we, we, get so much out of this sport though as hard as it is you know my all of my friends are are swimmers every single one of them my 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 high school friends my college friends you know coaching friends you know it, it, it's it's always just swimmers you have this this kindred spirit um and so it's hard to keep kids in the sport though because you know lacrosse is a lot more exciting you know, baseball is a lot more exciting, you know, and, and, and football is, is, is the king of excitement, basketball, things like that. So if we're always competing against these sports that have all of this fun, then why are we doing it where we're making an already very hard sport, not fun. So right. it's important for us. We, you know, we have different caps, like, and, and, you know, I don't know if you play video games, but but the kids play a lot of video games nowadays. And and, you know, they can get different different, you know, outfits for their for their characters and stuff like that. And that's the stuff that they like. Um, so we kind of do that. We bring that to them every single year. We, we, we have a championship meet like championship celebration for all of the kids that qualified for state championships and above. So, you know, zones and sectionals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we reveal the new cap for that year. You know, this this past year it was a camouflage cap because we had uh, we had two swimmers go on to Army, you know, graduated seniors that had gone on to Army. Um, you know, the year before that we had a purple cap. We we've had a pink cap. We've had you know uh, all these different caps. It, it almost becomes a joke uh, amongst the coaches on the pool deck where they just kind of like rib us a little bit and be like, "All right, so what cap and color are you guys wearing this year?" But we get a hundred some odd kids to come into our auditorium into the gym over at lifetime to sit there and wait until they see what color the cap is. And it's those little things that you can do that just make the sport more enjoyable. Gotcha. 
I remember we used to have uh, when I, when I was coaching years ago, we used to have a, a swim for the donut race. And you put a donut on a on a kickboard and float it out in the middle, and they probably wouldn't want to do that over a lifetime. But <laughs> it, it was like you said, it's the the it's not just doing the yardage, no. right? It it's all about the environment that you create and the excitement that you create inside it. Um, I I talked to not too long ago to one of the top psychologists in in the in the world for swimming, and he'd said that he went to the Indiana pool. Um, and when he went there, he noticed that it was, the pool wasn't anything special. What was special was the energy inside that pool and right. And, and how the people respectfully treated each other and, and they, that they were all trying to move somewhere. And I saw that same thing when my daughter joined a summer team, as you had mentioned, she mm-hmm. got on there. And as soon as she got on that deck, you could tell that was more her community than mine even. You know, she immediately perked up. Everything was different when she started into a team and, and very respectful things like it was great. So yeah, yeah I really in, in enjoy uh, watching what swimming does for kids. Now that I'm a parent of swimmers and, and, and I never noticed that before until I'm actually a parent of, of a swimmer and realized, wow, this offers so much to the children and to the families. Right. I was the one that was usually serving that. Now I'm receiving it and it, it's wonderful. Um, thank you so much for doing what you do for the kids. Um, I, I think lifetime is a great word for something you're associated with because they're going to remember what you do for a lifetime. Thank you, John. That means a lot. Um, you, you know, I, I was, you, you mentioned Jim earlier and I was really lucky to to fall into uh, a sport with that and be guided by such, such a great coach, you know? Um, I mean, of course there was days where I, Oh man, <laughs> I didn't want to see him, but I mean, that's kind of par for the course when it comes to any sport. But I can tell you that when, when I was, when I was living in Baltimore um, or West Virginia, and I would come home to visit family for Christmas or Thanksgiving you can't tell my mother this, but uh, the first place I would stop was Berkeley. You know, that, that, that's where I went. I, I, that was always home for me. That was that was family. I, I would I would stop there and I would and I would visit with Jim and whatever other alumni came back. And, you know, you see see the kids that that you that you saw well, when I was younger, when I was in my 20s, I'd see the kids that I had trained with when I was in high school and they were freshmen. But that's really what what we try to offer is is that that sense of family because at some point in time i mean you you and i can joke around about it and we can say oh you remember what 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 you did in that set back in the day and i'd like you know i'd say yeah i probably remember three sets that i did when i was a swimmer you know for various reasons um but i always remember how i felt and that included what I what I accomplished and how the environment made me feel. And that's what I remember most. And that's what's carried with me for the entire time. And it's it's easy just just meeting you on on the show here. It's easy to see uh, that, that that's going to penetrate those kids as well. So absolutely fantastic. Um, so uh, now how would they, if they, if somebody wanted to join your team or, 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 uh, you know, see a practice, see what you guys do, how would they go about doing that? I mean, they would just have to reach out to me. Uh, you know, I, I also do the, the, as the age group coach, um, I do all the coordination for, for our tryouts. Um, Lifetime is unique in the sense that we, we have five sites um, that all fall underneath the, the Metro umbrella. Um, and I'm personally based out of, out of Florham park. Uh, we have one over in Berkeley Heights. We have one up in Montvale, up in Bernadine County. There's one in Princeton. And then the last one is over in Bridgewater. And then next year we'll, we'll add a sixth to it. And they're in the process of building the one down in Red Bank. Um, so you know, if, if even if you wanted to go to the Princeton one, you could contact me and I can put you in touch with those individuals. And then our tryouts are really difficult. <laughs> you know, they're really, really, really difficult. You come in and I watch you some four laps. <laughs> gotcha. 
<laughs> we do, you know, freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and then butterfly. And I really only ask to see for, you know, for fly, unless they're an older kid, you know, just show me four strokes and that's about it. And then from there, you, depending on what their level is, we'll place them in a different group. Wow. And and so where do they go on the website to contact you or? Oh yeah. No. Uh, yeah. You can go to, you can go to our light or to our website, you know, uh, lifetime Metro and that will pop up. Um, yeah. And, and then there's the contact list and underneath the coaches and you can just contact me that way. And that's fantastic. Um, I, I wish you the best of luck. I appreciate you coming on and I'm hoping that you'll come back and we'll have some talks about swimming itself and technique and things like that at, at some point, if you'd like to. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would love to, you know, Nick, Nick had said that he wants to come in for a practice. So the, so the, uh, that, that, that offer goes out to you as well, Joe. Fantastic. I'm not going to bring my bathing suit, though. <laughs> hey, like I said, it's only four laps that you would have. Right, to do. right. That's my worry <laughs> right there. Thank you so much again for being with us, Dan. It's an absolute pleasure meeting you. All right. Thank you so much, Sean. It was a pleasure being on.